Hey, what's up, guys? Sports Dude here, and I'm bringing you guys some more Houston Astros franchise gear, guys, on MLB 14 The Show, episode number three here. And it's going to be Mike Fulnor to win uh, versus Tyler, Tyler Skaggs. And this is his debut. I'm going to call him Mike. <laughs> I'm going to call him Mike because that's a really tough name to pronounce, but guys. But it's going to be his debut here. And check out the little cool crowd there thing, Roots. And that's pretty awesome for the Astros there. But Astros versus the Angels, it's going to be a great matchup here. I want to see how Mike um, does here today. I want to see how he goes with uh, his first uh, big league start. He's got a lot of velocity. It's 99 velocity. Um, I was looking at it, so, uh, full, full told, so, I think it's full, full, full touch, which, I don't even know how to say his name, <laughs> whatever, um, yeah, so I'm gonna start, like, this, I'm gonna start, call him, like, the starting pitcher, or Mike, whichever, whatever works, but, yeah, let's get into the matchup here, guys, let's get into the action, alrighty, Eric Ibar up to bat first here, guys, and it's the very first pitch of the ball game, he's going to drill into left center field, back away, going to the left fielder goes Chris Carter, and he will be there for the out. But if you guys missed later, guys, you saw the lineup. It's going to be an all-different lineup today. Good line of guys breaks as Howie Kendrick's going to drill. It's going to be right, right center field, and it's going to be cut off there. And it's going to be a nice single there for the Angels. And see, it's going to be Mike Trout coming up to bat now, and he's going to be sent down for the first career strikeout for uh, Mike there, full told in the witches. I think it's full told in the witches, whatever. whatever. But El Pujols now again now is going to ground. I miss messed up to hitting the wrong button. I'm going to do that a couple times in this video, guys. You'll see I messed up a couple of times. I wasn't really focusing on this one, but I messed up hitting a hit a wrong button. But Josh Hamilton is just going to drill into center field and uh, easy there uh, out for Robbie Grossman. So now I bring up our bats and let's see what we can do. So Grossman leads it off against Tyler Skaggs. He's going to uh, ground the ball to the third baseman, David Freeze. He'll be out for the first out of the inning. So now, Jose Altuve is up to bat. One, two count, one out, and he's going to drill this one into left field, and it's going to be a base hit, the first hit of the day for us as we get a base runner now. Let's see what Chris Carter can do. All right, two, one count. Man on first, and he's going to, Tyler Sack is going to throw this one out of play, so trying to pick off Jose Altuve. So now Jose Altuve will advance to second base as now we get a runner in scoring position for Chris Carter. Two, one count, one out. The pitch is going to be lined in the left center field, and it's going to be into the gap. And that's going to score Jose Altuve coming in, rounding second base. And he will score as Chris Carter slides in safely at second base for a nice double and an RBI double at that, giving the Astros a 1-0 lead to start off the game. Let's see if we take a look at the replay here. A beautiful swing by Chris Carter right down the middle. Skaggs and not, definitely wants that one a redo there because that was right down the middle, and Chris Carter definitely drilled it. So Jason Carter up now. He's going to get a single, maybe, no, I don't know. Eric, Ari Bauer is not going to be able to throw him there. It was too far to his left, so Josie Aiken Castro is safe. So Dominguez up now to bat, and he's going to ground into a double play. No, he's safe at home plate, and Chris Carter is going to be out at home plate. I was trying to do, trying to make sure when he threw the ball, that I was going to go home, but whatever. We get the one run anyway, like Chris Carter's RBI. So it's one nothing Astros. As now we're going to fast forward here to top of the second inning. Oh, two count for. Uh, Mike Fulnola switches, and he's going to give up a big blast here left center field, and it's gone. Kyle Calhoun, I believe it is, hits a nice home run, opposite field home run, and that's going to be the first run given up for Mike there. As uh, it's not really one of the happen there, I gave him a fastball, and I gave him a too generous of a fastball there, so it's all tied up one to one now. His approach is Kyle or uh, Chris Ionetta, I should say, and he's going to take a slider and absolutely drill it. To left field, and that's way out of here for his first home run of the game. And it's gonna be two to one Astros now. As we'll take a look at the replay, or not the replay, but just take a look how he just he's absolutely crushed that ball to left field. And it's just two straight pitches I did not want to give up there. So Fanola Chowiches is not having a great day so far. But uh, yeah, so two to one Astros now. I should have won Angels. So bottom of second inning now. Skaggs. It's Ronald Torres up now, and he is going to drill it off the top of the wall. He'll be in safely with a double. He will get in there safely up to a double, and it's going to be thrown away. So I'm going to advance to third base with Torres, and he will be in there safely as we have a runner 90 feet away from scoring. That is his first career major league hit, as you'll see right there. He's playing shortstop today. That's pretty cool to see his very first major league hit there. So I'll have to keep that ball, as you'll see. So Volia, a lot of third, third base coach, will grab it for him. So now Carlos Copperon now, one nothing. Can he's going to drill it to third base, and that's a beautiful play there by David Freeze. He's going to get Ronald Torres trying to score, 
And that was a very nice play from David Freeze there. So we're not going to get that extra run. Still going to be tied up at 1-1. One to one, Or 2-1, to one, excuse me. So Mike Trout up now. And he's going to drill it down the right field line. He's going to be in there. Now I'm going to see if I can get him at second base. Firing in. And he is safe. Sliding in safely. All right, now we'll pull up 2-2 count. He's going to ground the ball right to Jose Altuve. He'll fire on to first base for the out. So two outs and a man on third base as the Astros are threatening here to get a run. Josh Hamilton is at the plate. One, two, count. And top of the third inning, like I said, and he's going to just miss the ball here. I'm going to throw it there because I hit the wrong button again. And, uh, yeah, it's saw some sloppy gameplay here, guys. I'm sorry about that, but I just missed a couple of button issues there. But, uh, yeah. So Mike Trout now 3-1, to one, and he's on top, and he's going to drill this one to left field, and that is gone. Another home run surrendered by our Astros here. It's 3-1 to one coming up now. That's uh, going to be 4-1, to one, excuse me. The Astros, the Angels are just absolutely just crushing us today with the home runs. Three long balls, Ionero, Cole uh, Calhoun, and now Mike Trout, the best player in the MLB, drills a nice home run there. So... Let's see if we can stop the rallying here. Try to get some runs. So we go to the top of the sixth inning here. Four to one still, Angels. Uh, this is going to be a single to the left side of the field for Josh Hamilton. And he will get in there as Chris Carter fires it in. And so that's going to be spelling the end of the day for Fulton, which is day. So he did all right in his debut. It only goes about five innings. Not what I really wanted from him. I love his velocity. I like his stuff. He's just definitely going to be a pitcher I'm loving to work with. I think he'll definitely you know progress when he's a little bit better. Um, we got a lot of young starting pitchers like Mark Appel, and uh, so I'm definitely excited to see what they can do. But Paul Clemens enters the game, so man on first base, and it's going to be Rello Banyas drilling his single right back up the middle, and now he's got first and second for the Angels. They're threatening to score the pack on their run lead already. It's already four to one, and maybe want to get a couple more. So again, now they got the guy up, and he's going to drill into the outfield, but it's going to be out right to Robbie Grossman, and he will get him out there for the second out of the inning. First out of the inning, excuse me. Now Cole Calhoun again. He's going to drill a little weak ground ball. I'm going to fire on a third base, get the force out, try to fire him back to first, but he is safe. A great play there by uh, great play by Jason Castro there. That was a great play there by him. So Ionetta will ground out to second baseman. The shortstop at Ronald Torres, who fires on a second baseman, Jose Altuve, and I will retire the side. So Chris Carter up. Now Tyler Skaggs is going to look, and that is a bomb. Absolutely crushed. By Chris Carter into the left field stands. As you see, I think this train is supposed to move, but it did not move. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The beautiful home run there by Chris Carter. And that's going to kind of put the lead a little bit more helpful for us. As he's had a great day so far. Two RBIs by Chris Carter leading the Astros, trying to get us back in this game. So 4-2, to like I said, two outs and one nothing count. And Jason Castro is now going to drill into left center field. And it's going to be falling in. Off the, almost off the wall, and yeah, it is off the wall, and he's going to be in safely with a double, not trying for three. I thought about it, but he'll slide back in safely in second base. A little bit of a scare there, but he's in for a nice double. As if we can see if we can try to, to um, you know, get him in. So Dominguez is up now, and he's going to drill his single right back up the middle, and we're going to test the arm here. Let's see what can happen as he's going home. Cashos rounding, and he is safe, just barely. Dominguez advances second base as now we get a run in scoring position after a run scores. Looking good here. So four to three. Um, Guzman is up now. And he's going to just strike out swinging there. And that's going to be an out for us. So the retire of the side. Skaggs gets out of the jam a little bit there. So four to three. Top of seventh inning now. Clemens is still up. 0-1 count. Eric Ibar is going to single right back up the middle. And have a little trouble here in center field. But no big deal. It's going to be not past probably because he'll be all right. So Eric Ibar starts it off with a nice single. So Kendrick is up now, man on first base, and he is going to hit the ball off of Clemens. And I'm going to try to fire on a third base by, um, by Dominguez, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be first and second. And that's going to spell the end of the day for um, Clemens. Is I'm going to put in Chad Qualls, one of our setup men. That's the only bad thing about the Astros. They have, they have a very terrible bullpen. So Trout's up again now, and he is going to just hit a very weak Fly ball to Jose Altuve. That's a big out retiring Mike Trout. But we still have Albert Pujols and Josh Hamilton coming up. We'll have to deal with Albert Pujols. 0-2 count. He's going to strike out on the fastball inside. 94 miles per hour as Chad Qualls, Chad Qualls retires him. Now for two outs, Hamilton is up. One and first and second. One out count. He's going to drill a single into left center field as Chris Carter's going to feel it. He's going to fire on home. And the throw in is safe at home plate. 
That's his score, Eric Ibar, and the and the Angels get another run, making it five to three now. So now Kyle Calhoun, Cole, Cole Calhoun, I want to say Kyle, he's gonna drill one in the center field guy. I'm just gonna be playing terribly here. I thought I had it right there, but uh, yeah, the rest is kind of history as I'm going to suffer an in. Inside the park home run, as you see, he will slide in safely for an inside the park home run. Calhoun has two home runs today, one out of the park and one inside the park. So 6-3 now, Trout up again. He's going to drill a single to right field, getting in safely. So, yeah, like I said, the bullpen has not been very good for us today. And we just haven't been able to stop these um, Angels hitters as, again, Albert Pulis is up. But he's going to line out right to the right field with Dexter Fowler there. So, yeah, that's where I tire him. I tire him. So, one out, one, two count. And Hamilton is up, and he is going to just do a weak ground ball right to Valvaldez now is now pitching. And he's going to retire him. So, again, now one out count. Raul Obanez is up. And I wanted the lefty lefty situation. That's really wanted, but I'm going to fire it on home with Dexter. Actually, that's Dexter Fowler in center field. And we're still not going to be able to get him. He is sliding in safely. That's Mike Trout. And that's going to score another run for the Angels. The score is now 7 to 3. Got a man on first base. And that's going to be deep into the right field gap. That's trouble for, for the center field of the outfielders after the Astros. That's David Freeze is in the line. He's going to be in safe with a double. And they're rounding home plate. The Angels score another run. That's Pujols. That's not Pujols. Actually, that's the other guy who was scoring. But enter in Matt Elbers. Going to try to help us out a little bit here in this inning. Top of the ninth. Eight to three. Two outs. And he's going to get uh, Calhoun to ground out to Chris Carter. So that ends the drama there. But eight to three. Not what we wanted. Let's yeah, see if we can get some runs. Bottom of the ninth. Let's see what we can do. So it's going to be a weak little ground ball right back to the pitcher. Guzman is retired for out number one. Angels not in a safe situation here. So they're just trying to go get the win here as George Springer now pinch hitting. And he is going to drill one into left field. And it is is going to be off the wall, almost a home run there by George Springer. I'm testing, I'm going for three, using the speed by George Springer. A good relay throw, we'll have to get him. Kendrick on the bounce, and he's out. You've got to be kidding me. We had a George Springer triple right there, but just barely almost got him. Almost had it there, so 3-0 count. Alex Presley up. He's going to ground it right to Howie Kendrick, and that is the dagger. Game over for the Angels and Astros. Angels take this one 8-3. That's right, dropping one now to 1-4 and four on the season. Skaggs, he did very well. He um, had a great game. And Mike did not do that well in starting pitching. The, yeah, show, the Angels have a great order. The Angels really do, you know, with Hamilton, Pujols. Skaggs, 3 earned on 3Ks, 7 innings pitch. Did phenomenal. Trout, just an absolute beast. It's tough to stop him with any pitcher. So, yeah, I mean, there's a great performance from the Angels. Your player of the game is Mike Trout. He had a home run. Surprise, surprise, not Calhoun. Here's the stats of the game, guys, if you're looking at it. Um, right now, as you'll see, a couple of errors by the uh, Angels. But I would go to our, our stats. We had a great day with Carter. I mean, Dominguez, he was doing all right, too. So he got up a lot of doubles, and the home run, of course, was nice. But bullpen, that bullpen, when you give up two earned with Valdez, one Qualls and one Clemens, that doesn't help. So the bullpen does not help us there. But we simulate now into the next game here. We're going to lose it. So we lost the, se not lost the series. Well, kind of did, but we lost three games, three games there to the Angels. We lose 5-3. to three. As you can see, Dominguez homered, and Weaver went 8 strong innings, 3 earned on 9 Ks. Kozart went, gave up 2 earned, so he almost had the win there. But Brett Oberholzer does get the victory, beating C.J. Wilson the final game, so we lose our losing streak. We lose it, we get a win, so we're 2-5 and five on the season now. That's a nice win for us here, as you can see. More RBIs for George Spring. That's a home run for him and Dominguez. They've been doing well, as Wilson gives up 3 earned. But Oprah also gives him only two earned, and we get the victory. So now Scott Feldman versus Mark Burley in the first match of the Blue Jays series. And we're going to get the victory. 4-1. to one. We beat Mark Burley. That's nice. And a nice victory again. Three RBIs. Dominguez had another one. He had another home run. That's another home run for Dominguez. Another um, RBI there from uh, Springer. So it was one earned by Feldman. Did very well. Check out the stats of George Springer. I think he could be here. I'm going to be rookie of the year right there. Look at those awesome stats. But, uh, yeah, next game, guys, will be Alex White versus Marcus Stramon, the very big top-rated prospect for the Blue Jays. Marcus Stramon will be taking on the Astros lineup. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you later. Leave a like, leave a like if you enjoyed. Bye-bye.